Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello YouTubers and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours with me Colin. I've uh, painted one similar to this before, it's Eileen Dunn and Castle. I thought I'd like to maybe try and do a little bit more with it. I don't often paint things twice but I'm going to try and do a different version of this, different colours. I'm going to say a big thank you to all my subscribers and all my new subscribers. If you enjoy these videos please click the like button and subscribe. Subscribers are always welcome and it's free as I often say. I'm just scrubbing in a, a little bit of Naples yellow down here. Turquoise blue and neutral tint. I want this to be really pale as well. Bring it down over the hill. over the mountain and while we're here we may as well put some in the water this is a 140 pound Windsor & Newton paper this is the same colour again but slightly thicker I guess I want to put some heavier variation into the sky as you've heard me say before all about interest. Skies are very important in the landscape. Some people put a sky in in 30 seconds and sometimes that is fine. A few swoops of colour and a swoop across with their broad brush to put a grey in for a cloud wetting wet and then they leave it which is fine if you wish to do that but sometimes it's better to make your sky interesting. I think it produces a better painting while we're here. few streaks in the water. A few clouds into this maple yellow. I want this background mountain to be misty so I don't want too much colour on it. Strengthening up one or two areas. I'll give you a run round of the colours. This is turquoise blue and neutral tint. Thicker turquoise blue neutral twin tint. Turquoise blue turn maroon and neutral tint. This is turquoise blue, new gamboge and turn maroon. Naples yellow, neutral tint. French Ultra Green and Burnt Umber. So I'm bringing some of this thicker turquoise in and neutral tint and I'm adding a darker making it darker with the neutral tint. I don't want it to form lines so I'll merge some of it together. Again, bring some into the water. A little kitchen roll in a minute. Just pull some colour in here. Try not to play with it too much. At least a little bit of a damp kitchen. So just lift some interesting areas out. dry. Now that that's nice and dry I'm just going to take some clean water and we're just going to re-wet this background mountain. And I want to drop some of the sky colour into it, turquoise and neutral tint. The board is set at an angle so it will help with the drift of the paint. And I want that to be even paler than that. 
because I'll be adding another colour to it just to give it some little bit of shape as it comes around here I actually want to mist it out so I'm just taking some water and lifting some paint away from it and I'll take some Turner Maroon and Turquoise with neutral tint begin to put a little bit of shadow just in areas, just little spots, damp brush again, just begin to pull this down. We will re-wet this background mountain. I want a little bit of snow on this. Down over that one a little bit I think. Once again with the sky colour, a tiny bit stronger. Once again allowing the colour to fade as it comes down towards the castle. Bring it down over the second hill there. Doesn't really matter about that, but I do want it pale. Taking some of the Turner Maroon once again with the turquoise and neutral tint in will give some of it a little bit of shape and form but don't really want too much so again really paling this off just removing some paint with a, a brush just in areas just to mist the bottom up just hints of colour on this really just to try and keep it in the background Could bring a little colour down here not too much so watercolour sometimes is a bit like layering a cake. Not forgetting to fill the holes in under the bridge. And then I'm going to leave that to dry. Now your background mountain is dry. That's, this is just the underwash. We're going to bring some definition, but not too much again this will have to be watery so I'm going to take some of the turquoise blue turn a maroon and neutral tint and move it into the center and I'm going to add some water to that just to weaken it once again it's almost like a stain I can add some rocks we'll be softening some of this in I just want to create some movement up here I'm using the tip and the side of the brush and just dragging this down so it breaks when I say breaks you get a hit and miss effect just creating a little shape it's very pale I'm going to take a damp brush and soften off some of these edges in might work well if you do this a bit at a time so the paint doesn't have time to dry out solid so that you can still actually move it you create the shape of the mountain at the back with the roll of your brush and the direction that you pull the paint down Just using tiny bits of paint at a time. Like I say, I still want this background mountain to be very soft, quite misty. So I'm softening all this in. some bits up to meet it a little bit of 
very grey green and this is a mixture of turquoise blue, new gambolge and turner maroon and I'm going to darken that in here so it's very very grey I'm going to drop some of this in, I'm going to check its strength first that seems to be okay I'll be careful with greens because it can bring everything too far forward but this has been greyed out I want to bring it up to meet the the shape of the rocks up here in the direction that the land flows and once again blending this in and up leaving some of the blue to show through then brush once again it's a very murky color Just manipulating this in where I want it to go. Slowly bringing it down towards the castle. Still trying to re remain some mist, a bit of mystique. And then we're going to leave that to dry. Now the mountain's dry, the back one, we can come round to these forward hills. I'm going to re-wet all this clean water. It's a little under the bridge, so I don't forget. Some of the sky colour once again, stronger this time. Allowing it to pale out as it comes down the mountainside, the hillside and I want to take some of our purple colour turquoise blue, turn of maroon with some neutral tint in it this can be slightly stronger to drift down take some of the green colour again bring it to the middle some of the purple colour bring that in creating a, a bit of a grey green 